Yeah, g'day, it's Charlie ZL2CTM. Well, I thought I'd just do a, a quick video today just to provide a bit of an update on what I've been playing around with um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I guess but another caveat, which I've said many times, yeah, you know, none of these videos are a how-to. It's it's just very much just me sort of, I guess, documenting what I've been playing around with um, in an effort to try and encourage others to give it a go. So you may recall that I've had this old FRG7 case for a, for a long, long time, um, and I've always been meaning to uh, to modify it and to throw a radio into it. So that's what I've done, and I'll go through the internals in a sec. So I've, I've tried to hook into as many of the components, or many of the switches I should say, as I can. Um, I have uh, made this into quad bands, so down the bottom is 160 metres, as we can see here, uh, and then 80 metres, and then to, uh, 40, and then 20 metres. So, um, and what I was also thinking about playing around with is to make this uh, into a digital radio as well. So. Um, what you can see here with the attenuator and the DX function, what I've elected to do there is just turn that into a data mode. So um, it's just basically putting into data and some other um, transfers will go on inside there to basically transfer the digital data from, from the radio, uh, say again from the computer. Uh, mode switch is working, just lower sideband, upper sideband, as we can see here. Uh, what was the fine tune now becomes the, the the radix, or how much the frequency changes for every increment of the uh, radio encoder. So we can start down here at one hertz, and as we rotate through, we can see here increasing up up to um, 10k. So and uh, that's that's hooked up there. Uh, volume control, obviously. Um, that's the gone. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, this this second switch here is the AGC on off. So what I've elected to do is have it in the same orientation that in the DX mode, or it's going to be the data mode, um, then I would also have the AGC turned off. Um, so that's what I've done there. So just spinning it over, so let me just uh, try and spin it over without any damaging anything. So how's that? How's that look? Let me just come down here a bit. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. Um, you may recall that I was looking to use these uh, four relay blocks um, some time ago. Um, I have actually used these in this case. Um, I've only got one filter at the moment. This is the band pass filter uh, on the receive side, uh, just on the 80 meters. And you can see here as I uh, as I part as I go through the various bands, you can see the various relay switching in there, which eventually will uh, switch an additional band pass uh, filters. At the moment, it's just a straight uh, pass through. Um, other than that, it's essentially the same circuit that was on the, the wooden board. Um, homebrew crystal filter, the homebrew mixers there. Um, down here into the, uh, the audio frequency amplifier down the bottom here with the AGC amplifier um, feeding back through to that second uh, IF amp. Uh, the transmitter I have elected at this stage uh, not to, to put in. Um, because that's very much a, uh, a bit of a work in progress. And then just on the other side there, the, um, um, the Arduino Mega um, and the, the display sitting up into here. Um, I'm thinking too I might actually uh, use the two existing, uh, the pre-scaler and the, um, the frequency uh, tuning here to... Um, I'm thinking about maybe having a, a, a pre-filter on the antenna input, just thinking about ideas there. Anyway, so that's, that's one of the projects that I've been playing around with, and like I say, I will um, slowly but surely uh, continue on with that um, as we go. Uh, what I will do here is I'll just um, turn that off, and let me just move it off to one side, excuse me. And the other thing I've been playing around with is resurrecting a, um, a radio that I had some time ago. Let me just plug that antenna in. Into there. Let's just uh, turn that on. And what I wanted to do here with this one is... Let me just turn the volume down there. 
is play around with this old homebrew radio and look to um, look to use it as a digital radio. So at the moment it's it's um, just for for test purposes here is a little trans uh, changeover switch to change it from um, single sideband to uh, to data. Uh, and what I'm thinking about doing there that when it switches over to data, um, in fact I'll come to that in a sec. Uh, in, in terms of what that switch is actually going to do. So um, for those who may not have seen this one here, um, this particular radio here I was, I was playing around with having a, a dedicated IF strip for the receive, which is these top two IF amplifiers here, and a dedicated IF strip for transmit. So in terms of what this looks like here, we've got RF coming in on the input here, uh, it's going through a bandpass filter. Um, this is uh, two bands, it's for 80 and 40. I'm just using simple mechanical switches to switch between the two. Uh, coming out of, on the receive side, it then goes into the receive uh, mixer, uh, where it's mixed with the VFO, and then into our IF strip. Um, and like I say, um, dedicated um, IF amplifiers for receive and transmit through a, a common switched uh, crystal filter. Um, over the back there we have um, AGC, so the output of that second IF amp before it goes into the um, into the product detector, there's a, a pick off there that's going through to the IF amplifier, which in then in turn is feeding that variable DC back to the MC1350 um, IF amplifier there. The little switch there is basically just turns the, um, the, the um, AGC on and off. Um, out of that product detector into the audio frequency amplifier and then into the uh, way out to the speaker. On the transmit side, down the bottom here, we have um, a microphone amplifier. Um, we also have a little RC phase shift oscillator here. So let me just go on to dummy load. Um, if I flick the switch here, I can then uh, put the radio into transmit mode and then I can have this little RC oscillator which I can vary to inject um, a one kilohertz tone um, into the transmit side to then go through and uh, for, for tune-up purposes. So that's what that little circuit there is. Um, either way the audio comes out through this little wire here into our balanced modulator uh, and then into our first IF amplifier from a transmit point of view um, through the crystal filter, second IF amplifier on the transmit side uh, and then through the transmit chain through here uh, after passing back through that same um, shared bandpass filter. So it's, it's a bit of a mess and it's certainly not to everyone's liking but you know it's it's something which I was playing around with at the time and uh, works quite well. little push-pull amplifier over here using two IRF 510s uh, in a push-pull configuration and then back through a uh, again a switched uh, low-pass filter between 80 meters uh, and 40 meters. Anyway, so what I was about to say before, um, what I'm what I'm planning to do with this little switch down here is I'll, I'll clean it up and I'll have over here a, a, another little relay which will, um, from a data point of view, so when it's in the data mode, um, this uh, audio that's going from a transmit point of view, that is the audio that's going into the balance modulator, I will switch between the current configuration, which will be uh, SSB, now let me just go back a bit, SSB, and then if it was to flick to data, um, that'll break, and then I'll have the input coming from um, uh, a little interface. Um, not sure if I'm going to use the same interface that I used before, um, this one works really well with the, um, the FT818, um, but what I might do, I might actually build another one, um, similar, similar configuration, uh, dedicated for this particular radio here and have it on board. We'll see, we'll see where we go with that. Uh, on the receive side of the house, um, over the back there with the um, product detector, that little grey wire there is taking the audio output of the product detector into the audio frequency amplifier. Uh, what I may do is probably um, have the audio coming out of the first stage. This is a two stage um, audio frequency amplifier that we've used before, second stage being the LM380. Um, these two orange wires here are taking the audio up to the volume control. So what I may like to do is actually take a pick off um, from the output of that first stage uh, and then have that going through to the 
uh, input to the computer for the digital mode. Um, and that will be controlled, like I say, from this little switch down here that switches the radio between um, SSB and data. Um, when it does fit to data, it automatically takes it through to upper sideband, and then when it goes back to single sideband, because it's 80 and 40 meters, it just automatically reverts it back to lower sideband. And in software, it changes the, uh, the BFO back over to the required um, point uh, in regards to the crystal filter. Um, I think that's probably all I wanted to cover on this one. Um, what I'm also going to do as part of this particular project here, uh, once this is just, just getting back off the shelf uh, a radio which was built some time ago, having a bit of a play with it, and then more than likely when it comes to the final digital radio, um, I'm going to, um, yeah, because I can, uh, essentially start from scratch uh, and build another radio, sort of building on what I've learnt from, from previous ones, as opposed to using this one. There's nothing wrong with it, but um, I quite like the idea of actually uh, building another one. Uh, in terms of the computer, what I'll probably do, I think, because um, I, uh, I really want to give it a go, is to play around with this um, this Raspberry Pi, the Pi 4 here. So that's ready to go. Um, I've got the cables now going between the, the, the micro HDMI and the, the um, display port from the monitor, which I've got here. Um, and I will look to use... A, uh, an external uh, USB um, sound card. So that's what I'll play around with here. Um, not quite sure if this one will be um, ideal, but you know, for, in terms of experimenting, it's uh, cheap and cheerful, uh, and we'll go from there. So then this will, like I say, will interface through here to that relay that's going to sit over here, um, switching um, the, the transmit or the pink here and the um, the receive from the radio through, which will, which will be the uh, the line in or the uh, we'll say the other way around, my apologies, line in and then line out. So that's what I'm thinking in terms of the uh, the computer for this particular build. Um, and like I say, uh, once I've got that up and running and playing around, then I'll look to, to rebuild this. So that's just a bit of a, a, bit, a, a quick update on um, sort of what I've been playing around with. Um, not to everybody's taste, but it's what I enjoy, pottering around with these sorts of circuits. Uh, and like I say, none of this um, is a bit of a caveat. It's supposed to be a tutorial or a how-to. Uh, it's just very much just documenting uh, what I've been playing around with. Anyway, I'll say um, 73 there. Um, take care, everyone. And I'll do another update at some point when I keep plodding around and playing around with this. Okay, cheers all.